What in the world were you thinking, man? Oh my gracious. What's going on, y'all? It's Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. I got Big Sylvester right there, and I got Miss Holly right there. Holly, you gonna come in, or you gonna stay out there? Okay. Sometimes she just likes to stay on out there. She don't, I'm gonna leave it big, crap big enough where she can go out. Sometimes she'll go on back out there. How y'all doing today? Let me check on the silkies. Oh yeah, we're good. We're doing good. Good deal. Well, we got a, uh, got a little surprise. I got a little surprise. I, I, I do gotta get it, you know, approved by the boss lady first. So, um, gotta come on in here in the office. Yeah, Peaches. Peach's office. Peachy. Hey, I'm gonna shut the door. That means business when you shut the door, Peaches. That means this is gonna be serious, okay? That means it's gonna be serious. But um, but I, I wanted to ask you, you know, the pond's starting to fill up. And, you know, we would like to maybe put some, you know, maybe put our Christmas tree out in the middle, you know, let it sink down to eventually be a fish bed and that kind of thing. and. I don't have any stilts, right? And I'm afraid a float just ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? And Mary Carl's got that little one-man kayak and I just, I don't, you know, I'm just kind of worried. And you know, I was thinking, what happens if we got us a boat for the pond? You, you, you cool with that? Okay, well, I appreciate it, okay? All right, y'all, I got the okay. I got the okay from the boss lady, but it seems there are some conditions with this boat is that as long as we can ride her around in it and she can have her little cocktail, we're good. So that, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> but y'all, I'm gonna tell you something. So, Brooke has found a boat. She has. She found it on Marketplace because y'all know Brooke is the Facebook Marketplace guru. And she has found the perfect boat for us here on our farm. Now hear me out, hear me out now. It's, it's not a pontoon boat, which would probably be perfect for peaches. So it's not a pontoon boat. Uh, it's not one of those fancy bass boats. You know what I mean? My buddy Michael Key, you know, he would, he'd be here if I, he knew we was gonna get us a fancy bass boat, but um, it's not a sailboat. It's not a pirate ship, but uh, we think this boat would be perfect for the farm. So we're fixing to load up and go on over there and pick this boat up and let you guys know what it is, you know. Show, or at least show you guys what it is. I'm sure some of y'all may have already figured it out by now, but if not, <laughs> I can't wait to show you the official pond boat of Cog Hill Farm. <laughs> hey, Biscuit, once we get the boat, you gonna go riding in it? Hmm. You gonna go riding in it, girl? Hmm. <laughs> How about you? Huh? Well, who put the fan right there? They done knocked. We, we got a cat door here. And, of course, it's just a regular door that flaps open like that. But, uh, somebody had knocked the block off. And Bramble can use it if that block gets knocked off. He knows how to use the cat door. But Biscuit and Sylvester, they ain't quite figured it out yet. So, <laughs> got you guys fixed up this morning. Yeah. Got you guys fixed up. All right, we're gonna go get a boat. It's too cold for flippy flop, so so we're just gonna go get a boat. All right, Holly, you and Lamb Chop, y'all hold it down because we're gonna have to run out of town for a couple hours to go pick up our new boat, okay? But uh, I know y'all can handle it. If not, you got Peaches and the Sheriff here and the Sheriff Deputy. And of course, these boys here, every, everything should be okay. You ready for your luxury boat? <laughs> my legs are ready. <laughs> Not my arms, my legs. I haven't told anybody well, what, kind of boat we, what, what kind of boat we're getting. I did tell them what it's not. Right oh, we almost, we're getting, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're uh, 3.9 miles away. Okay. Yeah, I told them what it's not. What it's not? Yeah. It's not a bass boat. Yes, it is. Well, I guess it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be our bass boat. <laughs> it's not a pontoon boat. It does not require any gasoline. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, one of those, uh, what do you call it? 
Energy efficient. Energy efficient, eco-friendly boats. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. Oh, me. All right, our boat's here. Our boat's here. <laughs> So we got our boat. Now we hope it floats. You know what this is, don't you? What? Hydroelectric power. No. It's... Yes, the water's going to do the work. Jason's going to do the work with them pedals. Do I have pedals too? There's a pedal on each side. What if you were by yourself? You couldn't pedal it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. You've never been pedal pedal boat. I have never been in a pedal boat. Well, I will say this. I remember being a kid, and this is something I wanted so, so bad, was a paddle boat, pedal boat. And we had, uh, my granddaddy had a place on the river, and I just remember thinking, if I had me a pedal boat, I could go anywhere. Well. I say on the river, it was on a creek that led to the river. Let me tell you this. Yeah. When I was little, I didn't know such a thing existed. <laughs> I wanted one bad, bad. I thought I could cruise all around that. It was a big creek, it wasn't like no little creek, but I could cruise around that entire area, me and my pedal boat. I think I was deprived. Well, you probably didn't have a place. If you didn't have a place on the water, you wouldn't have any reason. I lived in the city. Yeah. There was nothing but streets. Right. So I had a pedal bike instead. <laughs> one of those two but i wanted a pedal boat so bad and now i finally got one i'm almost in half a century but i finally got one you gotta have a crash course on how to use this thing because you don't know how to steer it or nothing there's no steering wheel it's not a steering wheel no steering wheel <laughs> don't put your bathing suit on yet All right, y'all, so we are home. We're back with the boat. Now we gotta get in the water. We don't have no boat ramp. <laughs> we don't have a boat ramp. Back the boat up into, you know what I mean? Hey, Brooke, just go real fast and slam on brakes and choo. Hold up a second. Hold up, hold up. Hey, Sheriff. Know what yeah, I'm he's thinking? Gonna, he's gonna make sure we're doing this by the book. Mm. Well, I got a good idea. Yeah. I'm on an incline. Yeah. If I just hit the brakes real hard, it'll go all the way to the pond. I, I was just discussing that. Same but I want thing. you to get in it first. Okay. So we'll you do can that. steer it. I need to put me some of that spray on it that uh that uh Clark Griswold put on his sled. Yeah. I can get on down there quick then. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> you don't see no holes, then. Ah. I don't know that they would be visible. She seemed fairly confident, so I ain't. Yeah, I'm not too worried about a hole. The only place it may, well, this is elevated though, so. I'm gonna lift it up and you pull it back. I think we might better drive down there. I don't want it to slam. So I'm just gonna let it go down on easy. Just like that. All right. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, buddy? Well, we thought Tucker was gonna be the first passenger, but I'm thinking it might be Nugget. He's seriously checking that out. Wonder he's probably he's wondering gonna... how his feet gonna fit on them pedals. What you think, sir? Huh? What you think? All right, I really don't need him to get out. All right, you go on that side. See, it's going to slide easy. If I get to going now, I'm going to be gone. Come on, Nugget, show me how to work this thing. Goldie's as curious as he is. Look, <laughs> Goldie. <laughs> Do we need to get us a champagne bottle and break it over the side? Let's test it first. For our first voyage? Let's, let's test it first. See if it's getting leaks? Yeah. 
Let me get in before you push it out. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know how to work the thing. You better come on. <laughs> All right. So it's riding a little low, isn't it? Push us off, Nugget. Oh, we're not off the land. Yeah, we got to get off this land. He's looking at the propeller. The propeller's in the back, remember? We don't want it to mess up. All right, here we go. What do you think? <laughs> I think we're gonna need more of these. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my gracious. <laughs> How much fun is this? Look at that wake we kicking up back here. We gotta probably go skiing behind here. Oh wait, that's for nugget. <laughs> oh oh good. this is awesome. <laughs> Look at that keys. <laughs> they were like, man, we thought we got away from them folks when we got this thing, when we got out here in this pond. And here oh, they are. Go get Gidget. Here they are out here with us. And Holly. <laughs> Holly still got her baby too. <laughs> oh goodness. Let me show you how to steer it. Yeah. All right. So this is your knob. So this way is gonna make us turn that way. What do you mean now? We're turning it. Then you'll go this uh, way. We're gonna turn this way. So in the middle, it's kind of straight. Okay. So up is right. Or up, up is, is right. Up is right, down yep. is left. Down is left. Let's see how fast we can go. <laughs> Look at that weight. <laughs> is there a way to go backwards? Yeah, you can go backwards. <gasps> oh my gracious. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh goodness. And it's used. <laughs> it's used. Look, it's got a little drink holder. So sure does. We got it made, don't we? We sure do. Look behind you. Look how the geese really don't want to lead a pond now. That's, that is so crazy. Considering to start with, they didn't know really what to do. No. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, me. Well, I don't know about you, but. This was a win-win for me. <laughs> this is pretty cool, isn't it? It is very cool. I've never been in a pedal boat. And now I have my very own. <laughs> and it didn't break the bank. It didn't break the bank. <laughs> At all. Oh, me. I love it. Two thumbs up on it. Definitely. <laughs> One with a glove, one without. You wait till Peaches hears about it. Oh though. my gracious. Yeah. And she slimmed down some, so there's not a reason in the world why she can't go for a ride. She can go riding all she wants. She's just got to talk Nugget into driving her around. She can do it. Oh, you think she can drive yeah. herself? No, she can get Nugget to, though. Oh, a little persuasion? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, me and Brooke just got out of it, and Mary Carr decided she wanted to try it out and have a little fun. And y'all, y'all look at Nugget. What in the world? Nugget. Nugget, where's your life preserver, buddy? <laughs> oh my gracious. Nugget, you need some swimmies. That's the Loch Ness Monster out there. Goodness, Nugget. <laughs> he may have decided that wasn't for him. <laughs> he may have decided that's not a purple pool anymore. <laughs> I bet he's thinking, well, Mary, you got an empty seat over there. Yeah. At least he could get in it. Mary, Please. Carl, let him ride with you. No. <laughs> I bet Goldie's thinking he's crazy. That is the Loch Ness Monster right there, or maybe the Cog Ness Monster. <laughs> what is he thinking? I guess he thought Mary needed a little, little help there, I reckon. Oh my gracious. 
He's like, Mary, I'm gonna ride shotgun with you. <laughs> Goldie, Goldie, listen, I got a little worried out there with Nugget earlier, okay? I got a little worried. Did you get worried, huh? Did you get worried? Well, listen, I got worried. And matter of fact, I was on standby because I knew that I was going to have to go out there and get him. You know it? But I didn't. He looked like he knew what he was doing. So as soon as he got out and I knew he was safe, I did a little Googling and y'all come to find out emus are strong swimmers. Y'all are excellent swimmers. And I had no idea. And I learned something new every day because I thought I knew everything there was to know about an emu or a good bit about. But I guess there was no reason for me to worry about one swimming or not because we really didn't have anywhere for an emu to swim. Hey, buddy. I got a couple of questions for you. Well, just really one. What in the world was you thinking? You know, you had me a little nervous there for a second. You know what I mean? You did. I kept saying, he ain't gonna go out in that deep end. He ain't gonna go out in that deep. He's gonna stay where he can touch. <laughs> and you just kept going, sir. You just kept going, you know it? But I had no idea that emus were strong swimmers. No idea. So, swim away, my man. <laughs> swim away. <laughs> so you don't need any, you don't need any floaties. Next time, maybe you can get Goldie to go out there with you, huh? What do you think? You think Goldie will do that? You know, she's getting pretty sweet. I just talked to her pretty good for a pretty good little while. Yep, sure did. Even petted her on the back, came right up to me. She's becoming a sweet lady now, isn't she? Yes, sir. Next thing you know, I'll be doing this with her right here. What you think, hmm? Now look at this big baby. Nugget. Oh my. Nugget, the Olympian swimmer. Oh, Nuggo. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you, after I calmed down and realized you knew what you were doing, I did quite enjoy it. I did. And you actually did look like the Loch Ness Monster out there. You did. Or a giant dinosaur. Definitely not a giant duck. I don't know what the geese are gonna think when you come out there and start trolling with them though. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but Nugget showed off his Michael Phelps skills earlier today. Yeah. And if you guys missed it, y'all missed a show. You hear me? Y'all missed the show, Bluebeard. Every, look, you the perfect pirate, Bluebeard. I need to get you out there on the boat, don't I? Huh? Yeah, I sure do. We'll get you a little parrot to hang on on your shoulder. How about that? Hmm? What's going on, Paris? Hey, baby girl. Hey, Mildred, you ever done any skiing? You, you ever done any skiing? Huh? You may want to maybe watch some YouTube videos on how to do that. You know, just in case this summer you get a wild hair, you know what I mean? And Jesse, maybe we ought to get you a beach ball. How about that, hmm? We'll get you a beach ball, yeah. Maybe you won't get in the boat, but you know, you could play with your beach ball over there on the sand bar. How about that, huh? <laughs> oh, goodness, girl. Hey, Gus, you know, if you want to do something, you want to do something romantic for Loretta on one of these well moonlit evenings, take her down there to the boat. Y'all go on a little boat ride, kind of like they do over there in Italy. You know, I'm just telling you, with the moonlight glistening down on the pond, you know what I mean? And I can get you some pumpkins ready. You just let me know, because I'm just, just probably getting close to y'all's anniversary. You know, I'm just trying to help a buddy out, you know? Just, you think about it. Tell me what night you want to do it, okay? I came over here and told you about Loretta. I didn't need to come over here to be a belly rubber. <laughs> oh, goodness, Gus. Oh, buddy.